Hi, my name is Maria Cruz. And I'm Edward Perez. And we're with the University of Guam Sea Grant team, Builders of a Better Bay. Today we're going to show you how to build a watershed. And for those of you who don't know what a watershed is, it's basically an area of land where water drains off. So some things you might need, a trash bag to line your watershed, modeling clay, Tupperware, or any other materials such as paper and foil that you can use to make the landscape of your watershed. And for decorating your watershed, you can use toys, rocks, and little people such as this one. And some soil. So the first thing you want to do is line your watershed with a plastic bag or a trash bag that you cut up. Or if the water, if the box that you use is waterproof, you can just leave it as it is. Now we're actually going to get into modeling the watershed. So what we did here is we took our modeling clay and we flattened it out. And then we got some Tupperware to put the clay over and sort of make like a mountain. And we also use paper, you can use paper or foil to pack in to make it pop up. So now what you want to do is put your landscape in the watershed box. You can mold it however you like. To make more hills, we're using paper. Now, when you're at home, you can get like old newspaper or maybe even use foil. So you just put the, the roll of paper and you want to get the model in play and just flatten it. So when you have the general landscape of your watershed, you can go on to cover the landscape with soil. And now you can decorate your landscape with whatever you want. We have some marbles here, marble rocks. Those can act as natural landscapes in a watershed. So buffers to flooding and soil erosion. What we see in the Pago watershed is a lot of human activity upstream. So here's our people. And even some off-roading. So we have some cars here. And our watershed is going to empty into a bay. Now we're going to simulate the rainfall. Now, from what you can see, our watershed wasn't healthy. So because we didn't have vegetation, there was nothing to hold down the soil. And the result was a dirty bay. So this is how you can make your very own watershed. Although it wasn't ideal, you can change factors in your watershed so that you do get cleaner water and better results. So again, we're Builders of a Better Bay with the University of Guam Sea Grant. And for more information, you can like us on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash